AJ, just after getting that win and kind of erasing that LSU loss, what's the mood been like heading into the bye week, knowing that everything's still kind of in front of y'all? Uh, it's really just get better. I mean, we, we honestly aren't satisfied with the way we played on Saturday, and this main focus is just get better. Get, this week is just getting better on the small things that we need to improve on, not really worried about Alabama too much right now, just improving in the small details we need to. Obviously, Ben, but don't break, you know, after those first two drives. What, what went wrong in those first two drives, and you know, how were you just able to kind of, you know, adjust kind of when y'all's back or was against the wall, you know, in the drives that followed? I honestly just feel like guys weren't settled in. It, 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 I think it took a minute for guys to settle in and just get comfortable with what we were doing. So, I honestly wasn't – we didn't change much. It was just guys getting comfortable with what we were doing, just settling down, playing what they know how to do. I think y'all are the last SEC team to hit your bye. Just from – as a team with – so many new pieces and parts. What do you feel like y'all have learned those first, these first nine weeks? Uh, I mean, we, we honestly see that we can be a really good team. When everything's clicking and we, we do what we have to do, we can be a re really, really good team. It's just putting it all together and doing that. That's the, that's the hard thing to do. So really just knowing that we can be a really good team and just doing it in the next few games. Last week, DeAndre Prince was talking about coming off the LSU loss and you know, having to play you know, so many consecutive games, you know, just trying to keep a positive mood and kind of a, a positive vibe with you and you know, some leaders you know, in this defense and the secondary. Do you feel like you all accomplished that in the week leading up to A&M? I do think because the, the main thing we focused on last week was having fun because I honestly can say, guys, we're not really having fun with what we were doing. So it was just really just coming back, getting back to what we were doing those first few games, having fun and going out and having a blast, honestly. I know heading into last week, uh, y'all are shown kind of the Kentucky film that, that hey, y'all can be this defense. It's, it's happened this year. When y'all were watching the A&M film, did y'all kind of see glimpses of that during that second and third quarter stretch? Uh, honestly, it was, it, was, it was fun to watch because we, we kind of played bad. Like, like y'all said, we played bad the first two drives. And honestly, seeing the guys come together and just do what we can do, it, it was honestly fun to see. It's there, maybe not to the same extent, but you know, after that Arkansas shootout and the defense kind of flipped the switch, do y'all y'all feel like maybe a switch is kind of flipped just within y'all as a, as a group uh, with kind of the way y'all played those two weeks? I honestly can say that it, it started to flip, but I wouldn't say it's all the way flipped yet. And I, I really feel like these next few weeks we honestly have to because we, we're playing some really good teams. I know Lane likes to talk about rat poison, and I'm sure you know rat poison is kind of a. a common theme to something you know to avoid as weeks have gone on but you know now that you're eight and one and at this point in the season has it gotten tougher and tougher to to you know cancel out those distractions or if, if so like what's the best way that you've felt like to kind of avoid that I mean honestly I I don't pay attention to I don't get on social media that much so honestly it's not that hard for me to stay out of that type of stuff so I mean for other guys I don't I really I really couldn't tell you how they stay out of it but for me personally I just I don't pay that much attention to it Kind of walk me through those weekends when y'all do have a bye week. I mean, do you try to just stay away from just like watching football during a bye week and all that, or you know, what's kind of walk me through your, kind of your process of like you know going through a bye week as far as I mean off, off the field. For me, honestly, it's just staying off my feet, just get as much rest, rest as possible, get my legs back. Uh, it's really just the main thing, just staying off your feet. I'll probably watch a little bit of Alabama going into the weekend and stuff, but really just staying off your feet. Kind of made me think, when, if you watch a little bit of the Alabama game, do you just, as a football player, kind of take some notes of what the offense is doing? And then, obviously, the coaches will have a plan. But when you're watching, do you kind of take mental notes yourself? Yeah, I, take, I feel like I take mental notes every time I watch film, just seeing what guys do and what they like to do and what they do in certain formation situations. I feel like that's, that's always what I do, take mental notes. It's kind of almost the exact same scenario as last year where, you know, you had a bye week, you know, three weeks in, and right before you all played at Alabama, and it's the same thing this time around except a lot – you know, later on in the year. Um, I mean, when when you look back, when you go back to that bye week and just leading up to the Alabama game last year, I mean, anything you kind of take away from that going into, you know, this week as far as just the preparation aspect? Uh, for me, I wouldn't say I'm going to do too much different. I feel like I did a pretty good job preparing. Uh, I feel like I honestly just do the same thing, stay off my feet. Like I said, stay off my feet, just get my body back and be ready to fly around on next Saturday. Thank you all.